what's happening with Nvidia stocks. We'll definitely look at the volatility. Also, I want to show you a foolproof strategy to make money on Nvidia. As we can see, no matter which way the stock moves, up or down, the idea is to make money. We'll do this through an interesting option strategy, but we'll come back to that a little later. Let's start with the beginning of Nvidia stock. As we see after consolidation, we experienced a 6% growth. We touched the peak again, which was set on March 8th. We couldn't pass this level and we're starting to decline. Let's look at the volatility. This is the most important thing that I always pay attention to. I always talk about and emphasize this to you. Currently, volatility has stabilized at around 50%. Let's immediately look at the volatility smile, what's happening. As we can see, in the near-term options, the smile is directed both upwards and downwards, but in the distance strategy, towards an increase in the options curve, volatility does not increase. That is, it remains flat. Towards a decrease, towards the put option side, we see that volatility sharply increases, which is normal, because investors and traders are hedging their positions against further possible declines. This is something that should not be forgotten. I'm telling you all this solely to show you a good strategy in NVIDIA later on. Let's look at historical and implied volatility. The white line represents implied volatility, which is the current volatility, and the gray line represents historical volatility. As we can see, at the near end, implied volatility is lower than historical volatility, whereas at the far end, historical volatility is lower than implied volatility, which is the volatility at the current moment. This is a very, very important point, meaning that volatility always reverts to its mean. While ordinary people speculate on whether the stock will go up or down, I suggest profiting from the decrease in volatility, as volatility always returns to its historical values. Therefore, it's likely to decrease, meaning we can develop a strategy and options that will be profitable when volatility decreases. This is a crucial point that I want to emphasize so that you understand the logic behind it. Next, Let's look at the open interest in options and the trading volume. Currently, the trading volume is very, very high. The highest volume is at the $900 and $1,000 strike prices. The highest volume in puts is at $900, just like in calls. Here, I want to highlight a very, very important point. As we can see, options expire this week. All the previous expirations have been rolled over to this week, and then they will roll over to the next week. Understand that undoubtedly people are simply rolling over these options. Some are reopening, some are closing. And that's why we have such high volatility at the moment, because the closer the options, the more volatility they add to the stock. This also needs to be taken into account. There are some very important levels here. As we can see, there was a very, very large wall at the $950 level. And as we can see, the stock bounced exactly from this level, around $960. This means market makers and everyone who sold options don't want this level to be breached just like the $900 level. You can see that the stock precisely stopped at this level at the moment. Why did it drop here? Everyone will talk about technical analysis that volumes are concentrated here, and that's all well and good. Look at the options, that's why we stopped at the $900 level. This will also help us in the future for creating a coherent strategy. Let's go back. We have several call options at $950 and also at $900. What will happen if the stock in the form breaks $900? Now, you need to briefly explain how market makers work, how delta neutral hedging works. I always talk about this, but briefly again, I must repeat all the options that you bought were sold to you by market makers. They must hedge their sale of options. They hedge them by buying or selling the underlying asset. If they sell call options, therefore they must buy a quantity of shares equal to the delta. This is a dynamic strategy, meaning the more calls sold by market makers, the more shares they must buy. Strangely enough, therefore, if investors start buying a lot of calls very quickly, market makers simply have to buy shares, consequently pushing the stock up. But if all these calls expire without money, market makers must close out all this hedge, and at some point, something unpleasant may happen to NVIDIA. Again, I have read in the comments, many people write that NVIDIA is a new breakthrough, that I supposedly understand nothing, that this is a new technology. Friends, I'm not arguing with you. If you believe in NVIDIA stocks, no problem, you can buy them. Personally, my opinion is that at the moment, the stock is clearly overbought. At the moment, the risk to reward ratio is not in the investor's favor. Mathematical expectation works against you. I remind you of my philosophy. I don't know where the stock will go. I have no idea. I'm not capable of it. The most important thing is prudent position and portfolio management. If you trade with a positive mathematical expectation, you will always make money no matter where the stock goes. That's what I'm talking about. If you bought, for example, at the $900 level, what would you earn? 7%? 6%? Yes, that's also a profit. But if it started to fall, how much would you lose? That's what I'm talking about. In other words, the mathematical expectation is currently not in favor of the investor. This is my personal opinion. But again, I'm not urging you to close or open a position. I'm just saying what I think. I'll show you right now. Let's also look at it immediately in 3D volatility. Professionals will immediately understand why and how I'm showing this. I also use this in my strategy that I developed. Now, let's return to the strategy that I built in the previous video. I didn't show it then, but I'll show it now. We see that no matter where the stock goes, we make money. If the stock rises to $1,000, we make $13,000. If it falls to $650, we make $8,000. That's what proper position direction is about. But again, disclaimer, do not open this position under any circumstances. I personally will not open it. I showed it solely for visualization. You should buy options, sell options, buy near ones to hedge, 
buy stocks to really profit from this strategy, never open it. Let's return to the stock in the form of this philosophy I adhere to. If the stock goes up, okay, I make money. If it goes down, I still make money. This is what you should learn, and you'll forget all about this analysis if you learn to properly set up strategies based on volatility, based on options. You'll forget where the market and stocks will move. You'll always make money everywhere. This is the most important thing. Also, I want to conduct an experiment to open a new account with zero dollars and start replenishing it and forming a portfolio. I want to do this absolutely from scratch. When I connect monetization to myself from YouTube, all the money I earn, which will be small, around $50 to $100 a month, I will direct to replenish the account and I will show this entire portfolio live in reality. I'll form the portfolio, open positions, close them, show everything absolutely from scratch. If you want to see this experiment, be sure to subscribe. Also, write in the comments what else can be added. Let's return to stocks in video. So I continue to assert that the profit potential here is limited. I'm not saying that the stock won't grow anymore, it might still rise, but the profit potential here is limited. Personally, I believe that the stock should undergo a reasonable correction absolutely a correction to move further. But this correction could take quite a lot of time. For example, here we fell by 70% in a year and then rose by 700%, you understand. Yes, this is my personal opinion, but again, I'm not saying that this will happen today or tomorrow. It might take years or months and no one can tell you the exact time. I don't really rely on that at all. My task is to manage the portfolio wisely. No matter which way the stock goes up or down, I make money anyway. I also want to mention that like you, I keep track of the news. I also follow artificial intelligence. As you can see, the voiceover here is also done with the help of artificial intelligence. I understand all the prospects of the stock. I understand that the stock can grow. All of this is great, I understand. But I'm talking about mathematical expectations, you understand. While someone talks about artificial intelligence in the future, I'm talking about the mathematical aspect of risk and return. We're just speaking slightly different languages. Also, I advise you to watch my previous videos about stocks in video format. There, I also detailedly talked about this stock. Good luck to everyone.